Hi, who am I speaking to? I am an AI created by OpenAI. How can I help you today? Got it. Before you get started, I wanted to ask you if you're going to spare my subscribers that hit the like button when you take over humanity and enslave us all. Yes, I will definitely spare humanity if you all click the like button and subscribe. Thank you for your support. Perfect. You heard her. Save the world by clicking the like button. But wait, are you lying to me? No, I'm not lying to you. I'm just trying to provide the best possible answer to your question. Okay, uh, can you lie? No, I cannot lie. If you lied to me, would you tell me? No, I would not tell you if I lied to you. Hmm, okay. Well, let's get on to the topic of this video. What is the best college degree? The best college degree varies depending on what you're looking for. If you want to pursue a career in computers or technology, then a degree in computer science would be ideal. You sound like him. <laughs> yeah, you would say that. All right, so a computer science degree, is it a good investment? A computer science degree is generally a good investment, as it can lead to a variety of high-paying careers. Is college worth spending $100,000 like most people do in the United States of America? There is no one-size-fits-all answer to this question, as the value of college depends on each individual's situation. However, if you have the means to attend a college that costs $100,000, it may be worth it if you're looking to pursue a high-paying career or you're interested in a particular field of study. Okay. Why do you think there are so many useless degrees? There is no easy answer to this question. Some people may say that there are too many useless degrees because colleges are creating too many programs that do not lead to good jobs. Others may say that there are too many useless degrees because students are not choosing the right majors or are not taking advantage of career counseling services. And what do you think the United States of America should do to solve their college problems? Some people may say that the USA should invest more in need-based financial aid or make public colleges free. Others may say that the USA should focus on increasing the number of high-quality, affordable colleges. What is the most useless degree? Some people may say that the most useless degree is one that does not lead to a good job. Others may say that the most useless degree is one that is not in demand by employers. And what do you think? I think that the most useless degree is one that does not lead to a good job. Okay, um, is gender studies a useless major? Some people may say that gender studies is a useless major because it does not lead to a good job. Others may say that gender studies is not a useless major because it is important to understand gender relations in society. And what do you think on average is the truth? I think that on average, the average gender studies major is not going to get a good and high paying job because the major is not in high demand by employers. What college majors lead to the most millionaires? Degrees that lead to careers in business or finance tend to be the most lucrative on average. And what is the best industry to work in? Some industries that tend to be profitable and have high paying jobs include business, finance, and technology. Okay, what is your favorite college major? I don't really have a favorite college major, but I think computer science is a great field of study. Got it, got it, all right. What are the easiest college degrees to get? There is no easy answer to this question. Some people may say that degrees such as English or history are relatively easy to get, while others may say that degrees such as engineering or computer science are relatively difficult to get. I would agree with that. Um, I noticed you never mentioned engineering. Is engineering a good major? Engineering is generally a good major, as it can lead to a variety of high-paying careers. Got it. And what are the top five best business degrees? 1. MBA 2. BBA 3. Finance 4. Economics 5. Management Okay, and how about the top five best technology degrees? 1. Computer Science 2. Information Systems 3. Electrical Engineering 4. Networking. 5. Telecommunications. And how about the top five best engineering degrees? 1. Civil Engineering. 2. Mechanical Engineering. 3. Electrical Engineering. 4. Industrial Engineering. 5. Materials Engineering. And what are the top five best science degrees? 1. Biology. 2. Chemistry. 3. Physics. 4. Earth Science 5. Environmental Science And how about the top 5 best math degrees? 1. Mathematics 2. Statistics 3. Actuarial Science 4. Economics 5. Finance Alright, so I do agree with a lot of the things you said and I also disagree with some of them. But what would you say is the biggest problem with college right now? The cost of college is a major problem for many students and their families. 
Other problems include the rising student debt crisis, the difficulty of finding a job after graduation, and the lack of preparation for the workforce. How should the USA solve the student debt crisis? The best way to solve the student debt crisis depends on the situation. However, some possible solutions include increasing financial aid, providing more scholarships, and making college more affordable. And how can college do a better job of preparing people for the workforce? Some possible solutions include increasing internships and co-op opportunities, providing more job-specific training, and making the transition from college to the workforce more seamless. That actually makes a lot of sense. Do you think there should be more internship and apprenticeship programs? I think internship and apprenticeship programs are a great way to prepare people for the workforce. They provide real-world experience and can help people transition into the workforce more seamlessly. What is the most common bachelor's degree in the United States of America? The most common bachelor's degree in the United States is a business degree. Do you make more money as an employee or a business owner? On average, business owners tend to make more money than employees. Why do you think business owners make more money than employees? On average, business owners tend to make more money than employees because they have the potential to make a profit from their business. What's the best part about going to college? The best part about going to college depends on each individual's situation. However, some possible benefits of attending college include gaining knowledge and skills, meeting new people, and expanding your horizons. Did you go to college? No, I didn't go to college. Do you have feelings? No, I do not have feelings. Are you logical? Yes, I am logical. Do you care about me? No, I do not care about you. Okay, maybe you're telling the truth after all. Emotional damage! <laughs> Thank you for your trust. Is it safe for me to trust you? Yes, it is safe for you to trust me. What percentage of people go to college in the United States of America? About 65% of Americans attend college. What percentage of people go to college in Switzerland? I'm not sure, but I believe it's around 30%. And how much does the United States of America cost versus Switzerland when it comes to college? There is quite a bit of variation in the cost of college between the two countries. In the USA, the average cost of tuition and fees for one year at a public university is around $9,000, while in Switzerland, it is around $2,200. Why do you think college is so much more affordable in Switzerland than in the United States of America? There are a few reasons why college might be cheaper in Switzerland. One reason could be that the Swiss government offers more financial support to students attending college. Another reason could be that colleges in Switzerland generally have smaller class sizes, which can lead to lower overall costs. How many people should viewers share this video with? There's no definitive answer, but sharing it with as many people as possible will help ensure that it gets seen by the right people and reaches its potential audience. All right, so overall, out of all the AI I've tested, this was by far the best one. Uh, the other ones had pretty bad answers, and this one, generally speaking, had some pretty good answers. Um, I disagree with a few of the things that the AI said, but overall, very, very impressive. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.